This is a good omelet, Chris. Uh, give me one second. You know what? I'm going to let you have a piece. I'm okay. No, I insist, Chris. I'm okay. Uh, yeah. It's all right. Here we go. Open up. Train time. Chug, 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 chug. Here we go. Oh, big boy, Chris. MJF, CVV, uh, pleasure to sit down with you. Uh, off to a, okay. Off to so a here's the thing. thing. I'm starving, okay? So we're going to make sure this is fast, right? Because money's time, time is money, Max is hungry, okay? That's one. Two, we're getting off on a bad foot here. And I don't want to, because you seem like a nice guy, Chris. You really do, right? Don't ever fucking abbreviate your name like you're some hot shot around me ever again. Okay. Sorry, Chris that's, Van Vliet. That's kind of my thing. Cool. Maxwell Jacob, Jacob Friedman. Friedman. Yeah, but only I get to do the MJF thing. You're not. You're no MJF. Sorry. But I'm not going to have you sit across from me and go, CVV. That's not going to happen, okay? So let's start this over. Do another introduction. I, I, I'll do your thing. There you go. Go for it. All right. Uh, Chris Van Vliet with Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Uh, still shitty. Ladies and gentlemen, just in case you're deaf, dumb, blind, stupid, or probably poor if you're watching his channel. My name is Maxwell Jacob Friedman. I am the youngest and fastest rising star in, I don't know, the history of professional wrestling. I am 23 years old. I have been wrestling for about, I think it's been four years now. Mm. No big deal. It's not like I haven't taken the world by storm. And I am seated here next to Chris Van, how do you, spell, how do you pronounce your last name? Van Vliet. Vla, Vla, Van Vliet. Vla, Van Vliet. Van Vliet. Chris Van Vliet. Got it. Yeah. All right, let's fire off those questions, Chris Van Vliet. Yeah. Uh, how has the rise been for you? Uh, meteoric. Amazing. Astounding. Incredible. Fast. Epic. Uh, it's, been, it's been a whirlwind. I'll tell you what. I would love to sit down next to you, Chris. I'd love to go, man, I didn't see this coming. This means the world to me. I would be lying to you. I mean... Anybody could have saw it coming from a mile away the second they saw me perform in the ring, outside of the ring, with a microphone in my hand. I think everybody was able to right away go, oh, so this guy's a star. Got it. But it does mean a lot to me for the fact that now the wrestling fans get to be graced with a real star. Something that they haven't had in, God, I don't know, years. Years. Since, you know, Ric Flair was in his prime. Since Roddy Piper was in his prime. Going way back. Uh, Buddy Landell. Superstar Billy Graham. You know, to me, that's wrestling. Not these hippy-dippy marks that are flip-flopping around trying to pretend, oh, I'm going to out-athletic you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a shooting star somersault 450. Who gives a shit? Okay? I know I don't. You know what I care about? Winning. Money. Girls. Protein drinks. I think, I think I really hit everything. I'll drink occasionally. I really don't drink much because, do you know why people drink, Chris? Why do people drink? It's because they're sad. And I'm not sad. Mm. I got everything going for me. Is there anyone on the AEW roster that's even up to par with your talent? Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, hands down. My mentor, my best friend, the roller coaster, Cody Rhodes, the American nightmare, king of the crossroads. Uh, yeah, I mean, the guy is a god amongst men. If you're not aware of that, congrats, you live under a rock. Maybe, maybe move out of your grandmother's basement. Uh, he's amazing. I, I don't know if there's anything that he can't do. And you know, there's a lot of people out there, I get these tweets all the time, Chris, where people go, why are you sucking up so much to Cody? I resent that. I'm not sucking up to him. Sucking up to somebody means that you don't have a genuine relationship with somebody. Cody Rhodes is like a father to me, you know? I mean, the guy has brought me into his home with mm. open arms. I love his dog, Pharaoh, more than anything. If I can adopt that dog, I would. But I wouldn't want to take that dog away from his home. He's very happy there. Brandy's, Brandy's great, too. Brandy's great. You know, a lot of people would call her a disgusting, gold-digging, trash bag whore. I wouldn't say that. I think Brandy is an amazing human being. And I think a lot of people have it, have it all wrong. I think she's great. Hi, Brandy. I know you tell people that you're better than them. Well, yeah. Everybody? That's a loaded question, but yeah, um, I don't know if I've ever come across somebody who is a total package such as myself, besides obviously Cody Rhodes, um, but it's, it's the truth. I mean, if, if you look at our industry today, um, 
it is starving for something new, somebody fresh, somebody who's not just, you know, good in the ring, but good with a microphone in their hand, somebody that you could put in an interview like this and they can absolutely flourish and make the viewers at home, you know, not just go to the edge of their seat, but fall off. You wow. know? Someone who can make somebody's head turn when they walk into a room or maybe their neck break, who knows, whatever comes first. I'm not saying I wish death upon you people, you know, but if it happens, it happens. But what, all I'm saying is this, is all I want to do, like I said earlier, is give professional wrestling something new, something fresh, a new star. And that's why I do feel I'm better than everybody else. Because everybody else is honestly fairly one-dimensional. I mean, really think, think about the top guys in our, inter, in, you know, in our industry right now. I mean, name them, list them off, go ahead. John Cena. Okay, John, great guy. I love him to death, you know? I met him a couple times. Really like him a lot, you know? But is he MJF? Well, he's John Cena. Yeah, but is he MJF? He's not Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Nobody I is. can't and say that's, MJF. And that's all I'm trying to say. Great guy, John. I'm sure. I'm sure future Hall of Famer. What about Brock Lesnar? Brock's cool, you know, but like, is he MJF? And, and again, whenever you list off a name, that's going to be my response because it's the gods to honest truth. And that's not me hounding on other guys. That's not me talking trash. It's not. It's just me talking straight facts. When fans come up to you, what's your reaction? <sighs> um, I'm going to try to put this as nicely as I possibly can, Chris. Okay. Um, I have an issue with professional wrestling fans. I'm going to tell you why. For some reason, they think they're supposed to have access to me. Like I'm your best bud, like I've known you, you know, since pre-K. When that's not the case. You know, most of these people are white trash, you know, hicks from the sticks that don't know their left from their right, don't know how to count all the way up to 10. Uh, and it's sad, but it's not my problem. So if I'm not making eye contact with you, I don't want to talk to you. If I'm not trying to talk to you, I don't want to talk to you. If I'm out to dinner, I don't want to talk to you. If I'm breathing, I don't want to talk to you. At no point during the day do I want to deal with a loser fat mark with a belly this wide and 70 chins that wants to go up to me and go, oh, hi, Mr. MJF, I'm a real big fan of yours. Pleasure to meet you, my name is Bill. I don't have time for you, Bill. I don't have time for any of you. I'm a very busy man. I'm very important. I'm doing a lot of things and the reason why the tender age of 23, I'm in the position that I'm in today, isn't because I'm hamming it up with you guys and, you know, allowing you to ingratiate yourself in a part of my life. You know, other wrestlers who do that, a guy like Joey Janela, for example, you know, he's a complete white trash bum, but for some reason these fans love him, and I'll tell you why they do. It's because he's a loser and he caters to them. He caters to their every whim. Oh, Joey Janela, fall off a balcony. Oh, all right, cool, I'll do that. Sounds good. No. I don't care what you people want from me. It's not my job to please you. My job is to win matches, to get paid, and to go home to a really hot girlfriend. That's it. If you're better than everybody, how do you explain when you lose? Okay, so here's the thing. I've never lost fairly, ever. Go back into my whole entire career. Never have I lost clean in the middle of a ring. It's always been shenanigans. Always. Honestly, pull up any tape. Um, I've, I've seen guys, they come out with knives in their fists. Knives? The ref doesn't check it. True story. Wow. I've had, I, and several times in my career, I've had a guy on the, on the lockup whisper, I'll stab you if you don't lay down on your back. With the knife they brought. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm really hungry. This is room service. In the middle of the inn. Chris, please don't talk. It's fairly rude. Good evening. Hi, how's it going? Oh, thank you very much. Celebrating. What's that? We're celebrating me, baby. We're celebrating me. What am I signing this? What's going on? Tremendous. Are you getting married? Uh, no, I am not getting married. <laughs> um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Hello. I can't believe this. Are you filming? Of course I am. I'm a big deal. Okay. You go. Six, nine, five, four. Food's good. Food's warm. That's what I love to hear. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a you have a good one. I'm gonna have to go talk to this loser now. Ta-ta. I've got a, this has never happened before. Chris, you hungry? Yeah. I, I, I don't am. care. You're not having any of my food. Oh, some coffee. 
go. That. Some toast. I'm sure you like carbs, Chris. There you go. Toast. Grab my water for now. I'll have my omelet later. All right. It's Fiji. It's good stuff. It's artesian, I think. I think that's how they pronounce it. Oh, great. Uh, Good stuff. What kind of food does Maxwell Jacob Friedman order? Um, healthy food. Uh, I got an omelet. Oh, hold on, that might be more room service. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. You. I need your signature. Oh yeah, absolutely. Of course, they need his signature. Thank, Thank you. you. God, her breath smelled like. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. I didn't realize that the room service ladies in Vegas were also, you know, escorts. Well, we are in Vegas. Yeah, what are you going to do? You know, is your entrance theme in AEW going to be You Are My Sunshine? <laughs> You're, Chris, let me tell you something. You're so funny. Did you ever get that? You ever get how funny you are? All the time. What are you, are you a fucking idiot. Is that it? Turn the camera off real quick, please. Is no. it is off? Thank you. Chris, look at me. I will, I will single-handedly. I will single-handedly end your career. Turn that camera back on, please. Good stuff. So, what was your next question, Chris? Uh, what? Do your next question. What, what was the next question you were going to oh, ask? Oh, yeah. Um, you're sweating. You okay, bud? We're just two pals hanging out. What's going on? Me and Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Doing it up. Me and Maxwell. There we go. Yeah. Good. Good stuff. Yeah, good vibes. Yeah, good nice bicep peak you got going on, Chris. I didn't oh, notice that. Thank you. Show the camera those guns. Yeah. Boom. Showing them off. There we go. Yeah. Curls for the girls, right? I've never heard that expression before. Yeah. Do you even lift, bro? That's what people say, right? Um, I feel like I should let you eat your food that you so rudely interrupted this interview to get. I'm thinking about it. Are you okay if I have some of my omelet while you ask these questions and rifle, rifle them off? Yeah, I mean, You're a gentleman, Chris. You're an absolute gentleman. Wow. Thank you so much. Here we go. You sure you don't want that toast, Chris? You look, you look fine. I'm okay All right. after it hits so, the floor. Right, here we go. Wow. Here we go. That actually does look surprisingly healthy. Oh, yeah, it's good stuff. It's omelet. Uh, I think they put some bacon in there. And uh, I'm probably not going to touch those tater tots. Nothing but carbs and gluten mess. Right. Wow. I feel like I stick these bad boys I on. I feel huh? like we should let you just eat. No, no, don't be I, ridiculous. I don't know. I feel like we're imposing. We're being no, 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 no. You're being absolutely. I mean, ridiculous. Chris, we're just a bunch of pals. Max, just well, hanging I, out, not asking stupid questions. Now I gotta apologize because I've been so rude. You know what, yeah. Chris? I'm. You know what? I'm. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I was kind of waiting for an apology after the stunt that you just pulled a couple minutes ago. And I got to tell you, it means a lot. It really does. I, so what, what else you got for me, pal? I, I knew you'd appreciate that. Yeah. Um, other than... Oh, this looks good. Other than ordering room service... Oh, God. Oh, Vegas does it right. What is it that you like to do in Vegas? What is that I like to do to Vegas? Um, you know... Um, I like good food. I like to eat good food here. There's a lot of good food at the MGM Grand here. Uh, they got me in a lake, uh, nice little VIP room with a really good, uh, you know, really good side of the town. This is a beautiful view. Yeah, it absolutely is. Um, so I like I like the food here mainly. I'm not a big gambler. I'm not really into that. I like to keep my hard-earned money. You know, a lot of these idiots, they'll throw money on the table and they'll lose. Even if, even if you win at gambling, you're really losing, Chris. People don't realize that because it... The house always wins. You know, you ever heard of that expression? I've, you ever hear that expression, Chris? I'm sure you have. I've, it's a good expression. I've heard that expression. Yeah. Is there some words of advice that you live by? Words that you live by? Oh, absolutely. Um, an old phrase my uh, high school football coach. Oh, fuck. This is a good omelet, Chris. Uh, give me one second. You know what? I'm going to let you have a piece. I'm okay. No, I insist, Chris. I'm okay. Uh, it's all right. Here we go. Open up train time. Chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, 
Chug it. Choop, choop. Here we go. Oh, big boy, Chris. That's a good omelet, right? It's a really Don't good omelet. Don't lie to me. That's a good right? omelet. Right? Thank you. Uh, wow. Right? Thank you. It's pretty wild. That was pretty weird, but thank you. Oh, absolutely not. All right. Yeah, I, I just, it was enough with the chewing. We had to make a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to cut. Oh, yeah, we just had to cut was, a little bit, which I totally understand. There was, it, yeah. I got to say, I've never had an interview this um, interesting before. I mean, I think it's going great. Yeah. It's refreshing. What were the words of advice? Oh, the words of advice I was given, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. Because honestly, especially in a world of wrestling, there's so many titans of our industry, so many gigantic human beings, right? But at the end of the day, sorry. <clears throat> oh, God. Sorry. Uh, indigestion it actually runs in my family. Um, at the end of the day, what uh, you have to realize, Chris, is that it's, it's not always all about brawn. You know, sometimes it's about brain, which is something I absolutely bring to the table that I feel a lot of people in professional wrestling don't. Um, I think a good example of that actually is, uh, you ever hear of uh, Davey Boy Smith Jr.? Of course. Yeah, so I have actually, actually have a match coming up with him at uh, Major League Wrestling soon. Wow. And, uh, you know, I, I was seeing some people say, like, oh, Max, you're in danger, this, that, or the other thing. But the, the guy's dumb. I mean, let, let's face facts. I mean, that whole entire Hart family is pretty, pretty dumb. Like, all of them. I, Brett. I don't. Him. I don't. Teddy. Have you ever met Teddy? Yeah, oh, Teddy's been God. on the show. What? Yeah. How did you get more than three sentences out of that brain-dead lunatic? Oh, we, we had a great conversation for half an hour. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you had a great conversation with him, just like I'd be able to have a great conversation with Joey Janela. We also had a great conversation with Joey Janela. Yeah. Is, it, is this like a real professional thing, Chris? Because I'm starting to think that you're just one of those weird no. guys with a camera. You're no. actually, you're, this is like a Lots of people video. are watching this right now, yeah. and they're seeing... Chris, uh, Chris I'm, I'm trying to be nice here. How many, how many views do you get? Like 100, 200, 250? Yeah, like something a, like that. Something down that range. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. And now yeah. all those people... It's, it's grass, grassroots promoting for me, so... It's yeah. Like, don't, don't worry about all those people get to see how... Uh, how you really are. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you know what I actually wanted to bring up, Chris? And I, and I wanted your thought process on this, especially getting to meet me now. You're welcome. I think a lot of people have it all wrong about me. Okay. Um, I can't wait to hear this. I feel I'm a down-to-earth nice, genuine human being that is misunderstood. And to me, I think this is the first interview where somebody such as yourself, sweetheart like you, you're an absolute gem, Chris, has asked me the right question so I can show the people how good of a person I really am. I mean, also, uh, this might be a perfect time for me to uh, plug charity <clears throat> really quick. Um, I actually help uh, with a charitable cause. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this, Chris, but uh, the earth, it's dying. Yes. It's a serious problem. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I do is uh, I actually help with uh, trees, plant them. You plant trees? Oh, yeah. Do it all by myself. You know, I stick my toe in the dirt, just throw an apple seed in there, throw some water on it. Yep. I have like a bunch of dudes. They do it. Call it, uh, call it tree guys. Okay. Totally real thing. Yeah. I'm not making this up on the spot. Uh, and that is, uh, that's why people really need to understand I'm, I'm a good person. I care about the earth just like you. I feel like we should let you get back to your meal. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And I, I do want to thank you uh, for your time. And uh, thank you for um, showing people, uh, you know, what MJF's really all about. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the underscore MJF. Um, this has been a, a pleasure, I guess. It's oh, been cool. The pleasure's all mine. Yeah, it most certainly is. Do you want more piece of this omelet? I'm okay. All right. Well, that was um, interesting. I think that's a good word to uh, use to describe it. Uh, thank you for watching this. I don't know if I should thank MJF for that. Sorry, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Can't abbreviate his name. Um, I've never had an interview where someone has interrupted it to get room service. That was, that was unbelievable. Although I will say, it was weird. But that omelet was actually really surprisingly good. Um, so you guys are always asking me, what's MJF really like? Well, there you go. That's, um, <laughs> that's what he's really like. So, yeah. <laughs>